art, art is the reshaping, is the reshaping of reality, of reality by, man by man to present, to present it in an in understandable, understandable way. way. As the, As the artist recreates, recreates the, world the world around, around him, him, it is shaped, it is shaped by, how by how he sees, sees it and what, and he, what believes he believes in. The Indian, the Indian artist, artist did not did not attempt, attempt to depict only, only the material, material reality, reality around, around him. He wished he to, wished to share, share the complete, the complete experience, experience of the moment, of the moment not just, not the, just photographic the photographic presentation, presentation of the shapes, of the shapes around, around him. Beauty for the Indian, the Indian artist has been has a been reflection, reflection of the glory of God. Of God. In, fact, In fact, for the ancient, for the ancient artist, artist, the experience, the experience of, beauty, of beauty, the ecstasy on seeing nature, nature or art, art, which is which truly, is truly beautiful, beautiful, has been, has considered, been considered as akin, as akin to Brahmanam, Brahmanam or the or final, final bliss. bliss. Join, Join us, on, us this on this journey into the into heart, heart of the Indian, Indian tradition, tradition of painting. Come with, come with us to the gorge of the Vadodara river, river, where Ajanta, where Ajanta was, created. was created, to the courts, to the courts of, the of the Mughals and the Deccan Deccan Sultans. Sultans. Journey, with, journey us with us through the deserts, the deserts of, Rajasthan of Rajasthan and the icy, and the icy lands of Ladakh and Lahore and Lahore Spiti. Spiti. In the verdant in the south, south, south and in the and gentle, gentle hills, hills of the north, of the north experience, experience the compassionate view of life, life that is enshrined in Indian painting. Fifteen twenty-six. After many centuries of instability was a year which in changed the India. political map of India. In the 16th century, it was the year of the, the Mughal Empire of brought peace and who founded the great the Mughal dynasty. From east to west, from he Bengal engaged the to forces Kabul, of Ibrahim Lodi, the Mughal Empire united the vast of Panipat territories under its and rule. won a decisive victory which was to change the course of Indian this history This was a period of significant forever. developments in all areas of life and Babur culture. Babur was the descendant of the Turko-Mongol conqueror, the Timur, founder of the Mughal dynasty whose family was ruled Babur, in Persia. A Turko-Mongol conqueror who the came The dynasty from founded by Babur became one of the greatest He captured large parts seen. of India and laid the foundations of they the They ruled empire. a vast empire whose fame spread throughout the world. His son Humayun, who continued his the legacy, culture and the art they was created, defeated in 1540 helped to shape future developments in all spheres of life to seek refuge in the Indian in subcontinent. He returned to India after, after almost years 500 years and of political turmoil and uncertainty in modern painters. India. And many the Mughal dynasty united vast stretches of India, from Bengal to Kabul and Kandahar, to be the beginning and of ushered one of the in best a great era of and peace most appreciated and schools of painting in India, the Mughal school. Besides being a brave and able warrior, Babur was a learned was one of the most remarkable man. rulers of all time. He set up he was large deeply sensitive royal to the beauty of nature, where large numbers of exquisite was a prolific writer. Were made. Thousands he laid of the foundations for a culture to follow from all over the country, which was based upon a beautiful synthesis of the traditions of Akbar Persia was one of the greatest of patrons India. of painting of all times. And under his innovative guidance and his remarkable Barbara modern had a vision, brilliant mind, the art of painting, and a skill for administration developed in new directions. But he had far too little time before he died in 1530 to shape the early new period of his reign. And he commissioned institutions of administration on themes of fantasy and adventure. His son, As he Humayun, matured who in years him. and outlook was defeated his by Sheikh Shah towards the documentation and took refuge of for most of his reign and in Kabul accounts at the court of the Persian ruler Shah Temasp. Extensive histories of the, the court of the Persian ruler, portraits and scenes of royal and court life and beauty of painted. the best of Persian culture. He also saw the many paintings, the paintings made by court made under artists Akbar are marked who by followed a sense in the long tradition and, and of energy. Persian painting. They reflect the personality of the remarkable monarch who commissioned them. Uh, his son Humayun 
uh, who went into exile Akbar's in Iran. Akbar's court was one of the most uh, cosmopolitan in the back, world. Uh, from his exile, Christians, uh, some of the Hindus, Persian Parsis, Jains, uh, people from Said Persia Al and Europe, all flocked to the magnificent uh, court uh, of Akbar. He brought to Mughal painting a, the kind of refinement they uh, brought with them uh, the paintings of distant lands. Uh, he brought Copies uh, were made here of numerous European and uh, Persian paintings, been developed and the aspects of their styles that were selectively court. assimilated uh, and, uh, in the uh, court these, ateliers. Uh, hugely enriched uh, the tradition of painting under the Mughals. These painters and the many painted manuscripts which Humayu brought with him, Akbar's son Jahangir, proved to be the beginning inherited of a vast of and stable empire traditions of painting, which had been created by his dynamic father. In India, and indeed, in he the world. also inherited his father's great appreciation of art and the traditions of painting, which Only had developed seven months after his return to India. Humayu died a sudden and premature death. Even as he Prince was succeeded Salim, by his son Akbar, he maintained his own who ateliers at that time, at was only which followed years a different old. style and direction from those of the royal Karkhanas Akbar in the capital. proved to be one of the greatest monarchs in Indian history. At the age of 13, Jahangir he inherited was a very the different territories. patron from Akbar. There was no empire. No Akbar was renowned for recognizing talent, no art even in the most which it would unlikely call its places. Own. No policy. In his and times, there was future. great experimentation, and the ateliers were Akbar a was one of, of the most remarkable men in from history. all corners of the subcontinent. He was an able conqueror and one of the greatest administrators. Jahangir took great pride in being a connoisseur of painting. He had a great vision which unified distant he corners the of India number of artists and in shaped the a cohesive and wondrous empire. Only a select few who were known for their artistic achievements and whose styles of painting appealed An enlightened to him man were and retained. ruler. He was responsible for innovations in every sphere of life. When Jahangir came to the he throne, was Muslim, he too was enormously but did not in impose painting, his faith on and his he subjects. commissioned paintings from some of the same artists who trained He realized that he would have to integrate people of all faiths his in his court but the style to build is very different. A strong the detail is empire. much larger. And so you begin to apart get from political of the and strategic reasons, the, the way that the stones were He cut, was extremely the way that they were secular set. in his personal outlook. From the exuberant life he forged of the early matrimonial ties with the Rajput rulers, we now see the complete transition to an emphasis on courtly Some refinement. Of his closest and confidants and advisors belonged to faiths. Other we now see than his rows own. of dignified courtiers standing in groups, Akbar and paying truly to the, the best emperor, that the land had to offer. Whose stature is now enhanced in the paintings by a halo. To create the blossoms of a new and vital culture. The Mughal Emperor has by now become Akbar's extremely conscious of, of his unity own among unique Indians place of great was expressed in everything in which he undertook. The paintings After now in masterly perfection when the frenzy of conquest had the abated, nobility of the great had Mughal court for peaceful pursuits. Akbar settled at Jahangir his newly built had red sandstone mind. capital and was Fateh deeply interested in the world around him, where he began a series of religious discussions. Whenever he saw something unusual, of worship, a new bird or animal, he, he immediately had it painted for posterity, Parsis, Jains, and others, and Zebras, created a universal faith. Bee fowls, Dine, Ilahi. and many other creatures were all painted for him. Fatehpur Sikri was one of the most of cosmopolitan of birds places and animal in the world. At that time, these were made with rare, in fact photographic precision, and are excellent botanical Though he and was zoological illiterate, studies. Akbar's thirst for knowledge was unquenchable. He had texts of many religions translated into Persian, and these were read out to him regularly. European visitors to the court of Jahangir, as a young boy, brought in Kabul, with them many paintings Akbar and had prints learned to appreciate by the masters the of their own countries. An exquisite harmony of Persian painting. They knew Akbar that these would had be valued by the painting. emperor, 
above any other gift. Though he was busy with the challenges of empire building, numerous European he took paintings a deep were copied assiduously, not only in the creation in of exquisite paintings, but also in the establishment of a lasting infrastructure for art. Jahangir's fondness of European paintings was set up. is also seen in Hundreds this of painting of him employed, holding and a there was painting no of the Madonna. Their cast or religion. Artists flocked to we the see the increasing influence of, the great of European paintings all over the country. in Jahangir's time. Mughal they painters brought with them diverse skills and talents, such as Western reflecting the rich and varied culture of the country. All these were pooled together Under to Jahangir, form what became Royal one of the most influential paintings and well-recognized styles of painting in India. In his memoirs, he that boasts of his ability of to recognize the work of different artists and describes the rewards and titles that he bestowed Akbar upon them. made full use of the abundant indigenous talent that was present in the country. The art of portraiture out of the 17 artists of his reign under the patronage as being of preeminent, 13 are Hindus. The best of Mughal portraits are as good as the it finest is an adequate testimony to the Akbar's world. cosmopolitan and secular nature that there seems to have the been no attempt for his own to convert the artists and ordered for portraits to be made of all the prominent Islam. noblemen of his court. The many foreign visitors to the royal court brought with them as presents, paintings and the prints of European portrait was also popular such as with the Mughals. The dignity the of a pose on horseback copied the paintings. was in keeping with the courtly style we of see portraiture the influence of these which Western developed works now in their own paintings. The Mughal artists were radically Under innovative. Under Jahangir, the art of but making fine portraits were also deeply connected extremely to the past refined. traditions of painting. The paintings went the far Rajputs beyond and others who found employment in the imperial of the court, subject. brought with them their local in traditions. Fact, they were often penetrating These styles were adapted studies. to the tastes of their new patron. When Jahangir sent his ambassador to Persia to meet the ruler Shah Abbas, he sent along with him the painter Bishandas. The other uh, aspect Apart from Indian many painting, formal uh, portraits of Shah of Abbas, Bishandas also made an interesting caricature of that. which brought out uh, the character of the man who Jahangir uh, had who never seen. Have been uh, asked the painters to and were the uh, aspect urged of what one could think of as the Mughal intelligence and who have been brought and up if, to be greatly interested Jahangir, in human personality uh, wanted to know and what so and real so world was like, landscape and uh, trees, who is flowers thousands and, all and thousands of, of miles away. Uh, the development of the modern idiom in Indian ruler, painting uh, really begins here. Portrait painters and in as much as the Mughal school life, encourages uh, innovation. Uh, almost psychoanalytic the miniatures are not copies of any particular style. The painting of Rather, Inayat they Khan absorb and assimilate a variety of influences study. to create something different Jahangir and new. wished to record the very essence of the situation. The Mughal school benefits from past traditions. His condition is highlighted but looks afresh by the at the world around. Plumped cushions around his fragile new subjects frame. are created. Rulers are the seen in the grandeur of the of the artists and can be best seen the in the nobleman. many unfinished paintings. We also see men from all walks of life painted with complete sympathy. The outlines are strong and the uh, facial likeness follow, of the subject uh, the is captured faithfully painting, uh, with an emphasis Akbar, on contours. Uh, and you see in the styles of painting the way uh, in the which paintings Akbar's under Jahangir changed, and the way bring us the magnificent and splendor uh, but, of the Mughal court. Uh, the paintings which have survived from Akbar's court, even the most uh, common best, persons associated uh, with the life uh, of the court, the most, uh, when shown in the paintings, and, and were rendered in individually. In with complete sympathy in and the initial years, Akbar commissioned illustrations to texts. The emphasis such as was the on the imperial stature and Tutinama of the king, stories and of the fantasy court. and adventure. Instead of the lively and human quality we of see here earlier a Mughal remarkable paintings, confluence of talents. The accent is now on a formal dignity. The indigenous idiom is blended Halos with the now become the norm race in the depictions of fantasy of the from the Persian tradition. 
This emphasis on study from life is best seen in the marvelous animal studies. The architectural spaces and the flat plains with delicate and intricate design every fold in are the deeply flesh, reminiscent of the Persian every tradition. Every muscle in the body of the animal there is, is however, a vitality which has roots in the early Yet Rajput are not stiff and drawings Western Indian devoid traditions of, of painting. These styles the Indian artist is always at his best when painting animals. School, and this was clearly demonstrated these are not by the just Kuzan faithful Kuzinama, photographic reproductions. From these styles were they are painted with a deep sympathy, which brings them idioms alive. That were popular in India and were also particularly patronized by the Mughals. Many of the These figures works, that we see here, especially those of the particularly the women, natural history appear painter, to be drawn Mansour, directly from the early indigenous traditions. Truthful representation and minute details. These are the foundations of a unique and new style, which was born under the direction Jahangir had in his employment Persian painters. It is not only the coming together the of diverse traditions. Akhariza. But much more than that, he brought with him influences the of the style of which existed in Persia, vision, with sweeping calligraphic lines great monarch and Akbar, highly decorative patterns. One of the most modern thinkers of the entire medieval world. Along with the documentation of historical happenings and royal darbars, we see some very curious paintings commissioned by the Jahangir. Personalities of the emperors themselves do seem to be Those things which the emperor the could not manage to attain in life in painting. so you are attained in paintings of wish painting fulfillment. In the reign of Akbar in Jahangir, in Shah Jahan. We see paintings of Jahangir, many Hindu epics were translated into Ambe Persian and illustrated. A sworn enemy. Such who as he the was Mahabharata, finding difficult to which was translated in reality as the Rasmanama. Akbar imbibed the rule of Jahangir's son and was Shah Jahan to all influences around marks him. the highest point of opulence and splendor of the Mughal Empire. The painter in ancient India always painted Shah that Jahan which was both beyond the resources the of a vast empire of the immediate world and a fine taste and appreciation of Under art Akbar, the painter and beautiful turned objects. his attention to the here and now. He had a sense of grandeur which is best reflected in his eternal monument, the Taj Mahal. For the first time, the, the Indian artist wife, began to Mumtaz. paint portraits of individuals and the happenings of the court. The perfection of the symmetry, the cool white luster of lavishly used marble, in years and outlook, truly reflects his the aesthetic tended to lean of towards the emperor. pure historical documentation. Among this all arts, he was most drawn to architecture in the of Indian painting. and the making of grand monuments, in which would stand vision, Battles and conflicts were seen to be part of the eternal Shah dance Jahan of the is cosmic remembered creation. today mostly for the fantastic buildings that he left, the, the Taj Mahal, the forts, the, the beautiful marble Now that the focus was on the present the Dura, and the so deeds of stones, men and women in this but world, he also commissioned paintings, violence and, these and bloodshed were distinctively graphically in Indian the paintings. borders in particular of his paintings are We do see examples of such portrayal of violence in, the in some Persian paintings. And so you paintings. get a sense of the artists and the craftsmen and the designers all working together. And indeed Akbar's we know from interest in historical of the rain, documentation day, Shah Jahan led had to massive projects go to him every, such as the, the illustrated biographies of Babur and his own they were working on. penned by the so court there's a historian sense of great personal Abu interest Fazlou. in every aspect of the arts. These paintings serve as a very valuable the visual record of the lives Jahan and the times possess of both Babur and jewel-like beauty. The perfection which he sought in the Taj Mahal is also seen in these paintings. The colors are refined and subdued. The Babur Nama, the, the memoirs of Babur, to with a was illustrated during like that of the time. white marble of his monuments. These paintings vividly bring to life the exciting journeys and experiences. Shah Jahan had of a Babur. sense of his place in history and the enormity of his vast empire. His works of art were intended to display 
the fabulous wealth which was at his command. Like the his Akbar legendary Nama peacock throne takes us through the life encrusted of with Akbar. fabulous jewels, his paintings present a world of magnificence. However, the vigor and zest for life, which was present in the Mughal paintings under Akbar, is not to be found in these he learns more to shoot formal works. Under the guidance of his tutor, Bairam Khan, the emperor and so is many raised other moments to the status of, his life of a deity enshrined forever in these paintings in these beautiful with a magnificent paintings. halo around him. Painters were commissioned to make the elaborate paintings, as and well gorgeous as illustrating paintings the of the scenes of his also darbar. Also give all sorts of detail about, for instance, the furniture that was used, the weapons that were used, the clothes that people wore. They often wore. sat so in the court to make studies and sketches from life and in preparation of these sumptuous paintings. Akbar also commissioned the making of the Timur Nama, we gain which an traces interesting the history of his ancestors into the mind of Shah Jahan in this painting of his time. One of the things that one can trace Akbar is seen Mughal handing the crown of his legacy formality. directly to Shah Jahan. Uh, and for instance, during the early period at Akbar's court, Shah Jahan uh, obviously like considered himself and not his father Jahangir to be the worthy successor. Uh, of the great Mary Akbar. or angry or whatever it is, all emotions were revealed. The Bad uh, Then the, the magnificent the account picked, of Shah Jahan's uh, reign uh, is renowned for uh, its much paintings. More strict and much more formal. Each exquisite uh, painting the you bespeaks the, the glory of the, of the Akbar Mughal period, Empire you can and its that monarch. Kind of courtly formality. The composition of the paintings are very new sophisticated, of dazzling perfection. Shifting viewpoints and the use Portraits of multiple perspectives individualized enable the painter to present the high point of artistic achievement of details under Shah Jahan. While we see the wall of the palace and the activity outside, Shah Jahan's son, we are simultaneously taken the deep inside to scenes within the chamber. He maintained his own atelier of artists and patronized the making of many paintings. Each painting is a delight in itself. We see a painting of him in a discussion with Intricate holy detailing, men. patterns and exquisite colouring make the miniatures glow like precious jewels. Though the tradition of painting continued under his generous patronage, it was now clearly on the decline Mughal miniatures in terms are of true miniatures achievement. In the sense that with their detailed and intricate work, they demand the reign a of close and intent who study. succeeded Shah Jahan to the throne marks the end of the glorious they ask more era of the viewer in terms of, of his painting. time and patience. In order to fully reveal he all was their a strict qualities. advocate of his religion, which forbade the making of any human images. The art of After painting several hundred years under him. Under Akbar, hundreds the art of, of painters painting faced again with acquired importance in North India. to the local courts in Rajasthan. Hundreds and of artists the hills were employed the in his atelier in search of new patrons. He was directly involved they carried in the, with them the styles learned and in, in the, the Mughal ateliers the and adapted them. These paintings were presented before him subjects. every week and were closely examined by him. Even though the emperor had a puritanical attitude, the artists worked in large karkhanas. We do or see workshops. some portraits of him. The making of a miniature painting we see him was as a, a young collective man, effort shooting and each artist rifle. had a particular role to play. We see him as a groom seated the on a horse. The master artist visualized the, time the composition. Of his wedding. Some prepared the surface. Others executed the drawings. While still others he looks on were as his forces at color capture the fort of Bijapur. Indian artists Paintings worked under closely Muhammad with the Shah, Persian painters who ruled from 1719 this to 1748. This manner of working together closely show the last to a flickering of the grand and blend of various art styles and under influences. the imperial Mughals. Working together now, in such guilds both the subjects also and led the to the building of, of a distinctive change and unified style of painting under the Mughals. 
These were a far cry from the pioneering and, Akbar, and masterly work. The appraisal of the work and the rewards were immediate and, and decided the by the ruler. Later paintings under Jahangir good and work Shahjahan. was rewarded with an increase in salary. Two centuries For the first of painting time in India, under the Grand Moguls, the focus came on individual the painters of a unique and, and their names came to be written painting. upon the paintings. The school of painting and the styles developed in the Mughal ateliers in the best became of times, the backbone of other schools. The Mughal court which presented developed a marvelous over the rest combination of the, of the inspiration of masterly so painters of the, uh, and great the patrons. Artists, uh, who were trained at the Mughal court uh, at certain times in history went off into drawing inspiration uh, and, and sustenance into the hills and worked for, from the ancient uh, the, traditions the Hindu of India rulers, and, uh, and the styles of Persia styles and Europe. So there's a kind of the Mughal ateliers of those two created a new uh, which, vision uh, in can painting. can be extremely exciting too. The artistic tradition of Akbar's medieval India, successors Jahangir was firmly and established, continued the strong traditions of the Mughal ateliers which were laid by Akbar. The innovations and the, the of Akbar's pioneering thoughts may not have been here. here the paintings the that followed painting, in the Mughal courts in all built corners upon the tradition of, India, of technical excellence for and great beauty to come. Akbar presents a fascinating image of an emperor who expands, consolidates and governs a great empire. Yet, at the same time, a man who spends many hours working with his painters, closely observing and guiding tiny details in the miniature paintings. Truly, a man who had a deep and vital interest in all aspects of life. One of the few men who shaped the course of history and art so definitely that they can never be forgotten.